Welcome! In this video I'll show you advanced settings of Android device. Open the main menu, then open settings. Airplane mode is a setting that allows you to quickly turn off all wireless communication on the device, like Wi-Fi, mobile broadband, Bluetooth, GPS and all other types of wireless communication. When you enable this option, you will see airplane icon in notification area. Bluetooth is a wireless technology standard for exchanging data over short distances between two or more devices. If you want to exchange data with other device, Bluetooth must be on. For example, open a gallery. I have an image that I want to share. Select image, then select share. Share via Bluetooth. Wait until scan for devices is finished. Then select device and share. Back to settings. Now open more option and data usage. Use this option to track the mobile data usage in a given period. It's essential to set usage cycle reset date. For me it's 22nd day of the month. Now turn on alert me about the data usage. OK. Now we can adjust amount of data traffic after we want to get alert. I'll set 1 gigabyte. Also, we can set the limit mobile data usage. OK. With this option, your mobile data connection will be turned off when specific limit is reached. Now we need to specify the limit. 2 gigs is OK. Please note, since data usage is measured by your phone, and your carrier may account for usage differently, consider using a conservative limit. Next, personalize. Here we can change home screen wallpaper. Select choose wallpaper. Let's say gallery. Select a photo. Let's say this one. We can resize photo. Then done. Another way to change your home screen wallpaper. Press and hold on empty space on your home screen, then select Change Home Screen Wallpaper. You can choose, let's say, Teams. Then this one, Apply. And that's it. We can also add applications and widgets. Select Widget or Apps and choose one. Next, Manage home screen panels. We can set as home, remove or add home screen panels. Accounts and sync. Here you can sync or remove account for individual service. For example, Google. If I select options, here we have two options, sync and remove. Next option is location. It can be turned on or off. Also, we can select the mode. High accuracy, use GPS, Wi-Fi and mobile networks to determine location. Battery saving, use Wi-Fi and mobile networks. Device only, use only GPS. Next option is security. Here we can enable screen lock. We can choose between pattern, pin, password or no lock. Scroll down. Here we have unknown sources. Turn this option on if you want to install apps from sources other than Play Store. Backup and reset. Here you can backup your account or reset your phone to factory settings. Please note the factory reset will delete all data from your device, so before restoring, backup your data. For call, we can set speed dial numbers, voicemail or other phone settings, like call forwarding. For apps, here we have a list of downloaded application, application on SD card, list of running application, all application, and disabled application. If you want to remove application, let's say Facebook, select, then uninstall, OK. Some applications cannot be removed as they are installed by device manufacturer or your network provider. I'll show you. If I select this Facebook for HTC, 
the only thing I can uninstall is updates, but I cannot uninstall application. Storage. Here we have information about the phone memory. And down, we have SD card options. For power, here we have battery information and options for power saving. And the last option, it's about phone. If I select software updates, we can check for available updates and view software information. That's all for this video. For more video tutorials, subscribe to our channel or visit our site. Thanks for watching.